Hi guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how to animate the fish by using a uh, curve modifier. So we will not be using armature and as you can see uh, it looks even better than if we were using the armature because uh, the body moves very smoothly and uh, it flows uh, very realistically and it's very flexible uh, as you can see and it even looks like if it has a soft body or something. Uh, and also uh, I'll show you how to uh, how we can move it, we can still uh, reposition it uh, in, to the any place in this scene that we want uh, by using the empty. So you can see, if even if I grab the uh, empty, it still will work. We can do with this anything that we like. Uh, okay, so uh, let me first remove. Uh, unparent uh, the curve and the fish from the empty and I will remove the curve so we will start from scratch and I will remove the empty make sure uh, that you first of all you have applied the uh, transformation for the fish so control A apply rotation and scale uh, and okay I have to apply the rotation uh, and scale and location is already applied and make sure that the origin of the curve is in the center of this scene as well. Okay, so Shift A, add a curve, we'll use a pass. Uh, I'll go to the top orthographic view, I'll rotate my curve. Uh, by the way, you can use this method also for the raindrops. Uh, you can imagine that the raindrops are rolling down from the window, uh, so it will look uh, as well very good for that uh, and maybe you can use it for any other animals okay so let's uh, press W subdivide your curve so we uh, have more vertices to work with to make our pass uh, more wavy That should be right. Uh, okay, I didn't make sure that it's aligned with the fish, so just bring it on the z-axis, like so. Now, once this is uh, created, Control A apply rotation in the scale and apply the location uh, come on okay and now make sure that the origin of the curve is exactly where the origin of the fish is so select the fish shift s cursor to select it now uh, let's go select uh, the this last point of the curve shift s selection to cursor now let's go to the object mode of the curve select the curve control a not the control A, uh, control shift alt C origin to 3D cursor and now as you can see the origin of the curve is exactly where the origin of the fish and that's what we want uh, plus uh, ok I forgot to remove the modifier from the curve uh, from the fish so let's go to the fish yeah make, make sure that the, uh, all of the transforms are zero here and this is one, the scale one. So select the fish and let's go at a curve modifier. Here it is. And um, what is the name of our curve? Nerve pass. So you have to select this nerve pass here. Nerve pass. Now, as you can see, our fish is rotated, not to uh, pointed towards the curve. So let's find the deformation axis that we want. In this case, minus y will work will work just fine. If your fish is not pointed on the z, uh, plus z axis, just rotate it uh, 180 degrees on uh, around the uh, y axis. Uh, so now uh, our fish is pointed towards the curve 
we have to animate it. That's the only thing that's left to do. Uh, so press I location. Let's uh, at the beginning and let's go to the end. Uh, move our fish on the Y axis until it's at the end of the curve. I location. Insert the second keyframe. So now our fish is should move, but it moves very s slowly. Uh, let's go to the dop sheet editor, press T and uh, select linear and move this last keyframe maybe a little bit closer so it moves faster. I want to move it even more faster, like so. Now we can uh, see the, how it looks. Okay, doesn't look too bad. We can now uh, parent everything to the empty. Sh uh, so select the fish, shift S, cursor to select it, shift A, add empty, uh, empty plane axis, select your curve, so select your fish, select the empty, control P, parent to the object. So now what we can do, we can grab this empty, uh, play even if we play the animation, everything will work correctly and we can move this empty and reposition to the any place in the scene that uh, we want our animation to be. So imagine if you have your mm, lake here uh, or the river here, uh, so you can position this empty where your river starts or at the bank, at the shore and uh, your fish will start exactly from that point to be animated so you don't have to insert another location keyframe you just move the empty and the animation will start from that point you just move the empty here animation will start from this point okay guys i think that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching we'll see you next time